Okay, so one thing I will say is that in high school, when you're very active and always doing the devil's tango, there's always a chance of you basically having a pregnancy scare. And if you guys don't know what that means, well, let's just say always have plan B available with you. It's just my advice. I always have it at my place and I always have it in my car and even in my wallet. My opinion, always carry plan B with you. It's not a bad idea. But one thing I'm going to say is that pregnancy scares are normal. And to be honest, this was my biggest pregnancy scare yet. But before I get into the story, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And on top of that, if you guys want to hear these stories live, make sure you guys go check out my kick channel, kick.com slash Bubba. I go live telling these crazy stories face to face with you guys and you guys will enjoy it. I promise you. But other than that, leave a like, subscribe, and let's just jump straight into the story because I know you want to hear it. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to an insane story. So yes, the title is what happened. Now, I got to explain because obviously I can't just come on here and say, oh, I got my teacher pregnant without actually giving some context. So let me explain it. I remember back when I was in high school, I was a grade 12 student. And in grade 12 is usually around the time when you're about to graduate, you know, finish up school and basically get rid of all your crazy child life that you had left. Because once you get out of high school, that's when being an adult happens. Going on though, I remember in my grade 12 year, it was my first semester and I had a class called information technology. Basically, it's IT. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a class where a bunch of nerds sit in a computer room and basically learn how to code. Now me, the only reason I took this class was because one of my homies was taking the class with me and I'm not gonna lie, we just did it for extra credits and also how hard could coding actually be? So I remember as me and my friend one time were sitting in class doing some coding, for some reason there was a student in my class that was totally brain dead. And by brain dead, I mean he had major anger issues and he was more bronze over brains, if that makes any sense. Meaning that he was really jacked and really big, but in terms of brains, he, well, was slower than the average uh, snail. Uh, I don't know, anything slow you can think of. And I remember this guy would always sit next to us or near us so he could copy off our work. And it kind of got annoying to the point where I remember I walked up to the teacher saying, yo, uh, this guy keeps copying off us. Is it cool if like you, you know, get rid of him or something or just move him to a different spot? I remember the teacher was a guy at the time and he said, Said, oh yeah, like, I don't mind. Sure. Uh, I got you. And he ended up standing up and actually going to the guy and telling him, Hey man, you can't copy other people's work. You gotta understand. You gotta do your own thing. What? I wasn't copying is what the angry kid said. And then one thing led to another. He got really upset and ended up punching my teacher in the nose, but not lightly. It got to the point where he actually ended up breaking his nose somehow. And it was actually really mind blowing, but he ended up going to the hospital and we ended up not having a teacher. And then I want to say the next day, well, a new teacher walked in and this teacher was one of a kind and by one of a kind i mean she was no ordinary teacher like i'm sorry if you're gonna put a 27 year old baddie as our teacher it's gonna be pretty obvious that instead of looking at the screen i'm gonna look at her but yeah basically we had a really hot teacher come in and i was full-on attracted to her i thought she was amazing she looked amazing like oh my goodness dude think of like the hottest chick walking into your classroom and ending up talking to you because she has to teach you i will say this much i was always excited to go to it class after that. But I remember one day when I entered IT class, I realized that none of the students were there. I didn't know why. And honestly, I did skip a couple days of school. So it kind of makes sense why I would be behind and not knowing things. But I remember when I walked in, I saw this teacher sitting in her desk, the really hot one. And I walked up to her saying, Hey, like, am I late for class or where did everyone go? Oh, um, they're all in the library across the street so they can learn uh, about coding since we don't have any coding books here in this library. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, do you want me head over there? Actually, uh, can you sit down for a minute? I need to talk to you. Now, when a teacher says she needs to talk to you, obviously it's usually something not good. So I remember I sat down across from her and I tried to figure out what was going on. She looked at me and said, oh, like, I want to know why you're missing so much school because like, I miss you in my classroom and I need to know like what's going on. Is there any problems at home or anything? And me, I didn't want to say that I was just straight up skipping because usually when I skip school, it's usually to meet up with a chick and go do the devil's tingle. So I ended up making some sob story up about basically how like, I don't know, my mom was in the hospital and she wasn't feeling well and stuff. Sorry, mom. I didn't tell you about that, but going on. And she ended up believing it and feeling really bad for me. But instead of feeling bad, like, you know, like being there for me, she really wanted to be there for me. Meaning that I remember this teacher ended up standing up and actually walking around.
around to me, bending over and said, oh, like, if you need anything, please tell me. And she ended up actually wrapping her arms around me with her cherries around my neck. Like, are you trolling? I remember at this moment, I got bricked. I got seriously bricked. And knowing this teacher was literally over my head, she looked down at my pants and she saw that I was bricked. It got super embarrassing. And I remember I ended up basically getting my backpack and putting it on my lap just so I could cover it up. And the teacher looks at me and starts giggling. I ended up saying, uh, why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Um, do you need some help with that? What is what I said? I meant like you go into the library. Oh, right. The library. Sorry. I thought you were talking about something else. And then afterwards, I remember she ended up standing up with me and we ended up going to the library. We headed to the library. And as we were walking down the hallway, she ended up telling me, um, Bubba, can I get your Snapchat? My what? Your Snapchat. Uh, why would you need my Snapchat? Is what I said to her. Oh, because like, you know, there's snap maps on there and I'll know where you are. And if you're skipping school, I can snap you and tell you what you miss. In a way, I found this very odd because obviously no teacher would add me on Snapchat. It doesn't make any sense, but this teacher wanted to. So I ended up adding her and one thing led to another. I ended up going to the library and reading the coding books we were assigned. But as I was reading it, I remember my friend walked up to me saying, yo, bro, like, did you not know we were supposed to go to the library? Dude, I just had the weirdest experience of my life is what I told him back. And that's when I started to tell him what was going on. But before I could tell him exactly, I remember the teacher and is walking in between our conversation saying, oh, like, Bubba, I need to speak to you real quick. Uh, okay. I remember me and her, we ended up basically going out to the hallway and she ended up telling me, Bubba, you cannot tell anyone about this. What are you doing? Uh, sorry. I, I didn't know this was like a private thing. Bubba, you got to understand. And she ended up coming really close to me. And it got to the point where she was actually kind of like putting her hands on me. And did I say no? Well, obviously not. She was hot. So I remember me and her, we actually ended up going back to the classroom where the computers were. And I ended up basically doing her on her own desk. Yes, me and her basically did the devil's tango. And I remember after that moment, I started loving my IT class even more. I know that sounds weird because I just did the devil's tango with my teacher, but understand this. At this point in time, it wasn't my first rodeo. I remember the next day, I ended up basically going to school and me and her, we'd always look at each other. We'd be flirtatious and it gets to points where I'm not gonna lie. It was like having a secret girlfriend that no one knew about. It was really cool because I remember every day after school, me and her would actually end up going back to her place and I get to do my homework and get my teacher to help me all the time and then get an award for doing it, which was the devil's tango. Things felt so perfect until I remember one week later. One week later, I remember I ended up getting a Snapchat late at night when I was laying in bed. I ended up getting a Snapchat from my teacher and when I saw this, I found it weird because she never usually snaps me late at night. I remember I opened it and when I opened it, the photo was of a pregnancy test that was positive. I remember I ended up snapping her back saying, oh, like, what is that, a COVID test? Bubba, I think I'm pregnant. What is what I said? And at this moment, I remember my life felt like it was falling apart. I started panicking. I started freaking out. I was thinking, do I tell my parents? But obviously, I did not know what to do. So let's just say what ended up happening next seemed really bad. But if you guys do want the next part of this story, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And on top of that, join me live on Kick because I'll probably tell the next part there. Anyways, like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.